Okay, welcome back. Here we go with part six. Um, so I've got my, my two columns side by side, just using that little left float um, trick. Uh, the one thing we found out when we did that is when that uh, left column gets more content in it, it just float, it flows right over the top of the footer. So we need to correct that. So now I'm going to write a uh, ID rule for the footer. So I'm just going to click inside the footer, come down and click on the div footer uh, in the in the HTML trail down there. Now I'm going to make a new style for that. Um, and you can see it's being specific again, which is good. All right. So most important thing here, quick, is I'm going to clear the floats. Okay. So when I do that, that turns off that flow to the left. So um, my two columns are going to stay side by side, but as soon as the as soon as the browser reads down and hits this footer, it will clear that so that this footer now reacts to the length, the different lengths in those columns. And you'll see that in a second. I'm going to put just a little bit of padding in. Um, I can apply that. You can see that padding go on down there. I also, uh, if I, I want to center that text, so I'm going to go to the block category here. And under text align, do center, and that will uh, make my footer. Um, okay. Also, I'm going to take and put a little background color in for now, just so we can see these different regions. Okay. So now, there's my footer, and let's preview this in the browser to get a little idea of how uh, we are looking so far. Okay. Let me just pull it over here. Okay. So now you can see our five different regions and uh, my two side-by-side -side columns, my header, my text is showing up in about the right spot. Um, I've got my five regions that are showing up pretty well. Uh, I've got some background color in there just to give it, uh, let me know where stuff is. Okay, what happens if uh, we put a little bit more text in here or push it down? You can see when that left-hand column pushes down now, it doesn't flow over the top of um, does not flow over the top of my footer. It just pushes it down. And if we preview this in the browser, we could see that as well. Okay, you can see it just pushes down. But then I got the problem. Now my right-hand column is not showing up. So we'll, we're going to solve this problem of these two columns looking continuous and always looking the same size um, a little bit later. So don't worry too much about that. Okay, now let's go. Uh, Let's go on, in the next tutorial, we're going to go on to um, styling out this set of links up here, my top nav. Uh, and I've got it made as a bullet, bulleted list right now. Um, and we're going to go and start defining the things that we need to define for this region.